<laughs> of course, I think the whole point of parametric symbols, by the way, is being able to create parametric blocks. So, um, that now let's go and uh, I'm gonna screw around with this because I don't know how this is gonna work so hold on <clears throat> okay I just had to create a new square um, those are all set to parallel um, that still doesn't mean they can't be skewed though so I need to apply a perpendicular constraint um, the geometry, I don't know why that would be the case. Oh, it's perpendicular. I need a... Uh, let's see. Well, that's perpendicular. That's what I really sort of need. I think it would over constrain the geometry. <clears throat> well, for right now, I mean, I've been trying to create this. I mean, I don't quite understand it. I guess I'm going to have to watch a fucking video on how to do this with blocks, but I know that's got to be the point, given the, all the parametric relations that are in blocks, is to make a parametric block to where I can, like, pop in the square and enter the width and the height, you know, for example, and have it parametrically uh, associate. And, of course, you know, you get much more complex than that. But this still isn't intuitive enough. I, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So, uh, I don't feel like watching videos on it at the moment, I don't think. <coughs> okay, I broke down and wrote a bit, made a video of it. I mean, watched a video of it. Um, but basically... You know, I created the distances just like I did before, which were okay. But uh, you got to add some kind of a stretch parameter, so you select that and select a base point. <coughs> okay, and it says specify first corner of stretch frame. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I choose this and then select the object, part, this part of the square I want to stretch. Okay, and then press enter, and then it creates a, a parameter right up here for it, apparently. And this guy in the video, he went ahead and deleted these arrowhead for some, some reason. <coughs> Oops. Undo function. Anyway, yeah, I, I think that's all it does. So, okay. And I also went in here and did a 
an alignment type in on parameters. I put an alignment, okay, and I just selected that point with our insertion point, and I had to go change it. Um, and you can see that I had to, you know, hit the type and then change it from perpendicular to tangent. Yeah, but for some reason this thing doesn't work, so I'm gonna have to come back to it later.